everyone. Welcome to a Derby Eve edition of Valley Form this week. And we're joined by Tommy, the resident rain man from Labrokes. We're on the backup from the Labrokes Cox Bay Carnival. Tommy, how did the two days treat you? Yeah, it was an outstanding two days of racing, Benny. Had a quite a good night on the punt Ludbrokes Manicato Stakes night. Still wish Armory might have got the job done in the, in the Ludbrokes Cox plate, but it was a great effort from Sir Dragon A, a great ride from Glenn Boss, who might be the best big race jockey getting around. So I really enjoyed the two days racing. I'm looking forward to another big night on this Friday. Wasn't all bad for us Tigers fans, was it? Let's move on to this <laughs> Friday night. And heat number four of the Labrokes 55 second challenge is the first leg of the quaddy. 54 54 is the time they have to be. Yeah, they've been absolutely flying this season, Benny. It'll be interesting to see how close they get to that time on Friday night. Really interesting horse in this race for mine is Whip Crack Away. I think it's a horse with a huge amount of upside. Four wins from five rate starts to date. And it's got that front running style that you like to see at the Valley, especially in the Ludbrokes 55 second challenge. A horse that does have speed to burn. I think it'll definitely give its rival something to catch. It is a clear favourite with Ludbrokes, which I think it deserves to be. Ridden Choice is an interesting horse that's run well in the Ludbrokes 55 second challenge in the past. Does go fairly well fresh, so it could be the main danger. But I'm pretty keen Whip Crack Away here. I think we can go relatively skinny in the quaddy with number two Whip Crack Away, number three Ridden choice and number four young liam it's worth noting tommy rail will be in the five meter position on friday night so advantageous to roll forward normally that takes us on to race number six and the horse that i'm tipping i'm hoping will roll forward from barrier one in it's kind of magic i think this is a good draw for this horse i think liam reardon will use it early it's very quick it's been jumping out well it's a horse that needs to show its best it's been a campaign or two now since we've seen that but i think back on dry ground and it just didn't come up last campaign. I'm giving It's Kind of Magic one more try. If she brings her best, she'll win. From a quaddy perspective, number three, The Commoner. Number 10, Chevalier Dion. 12, Chrome Angel. And 14, Knowles in an open edition of the Drum and Golf Handicap. Race seven is the McCafe Handicap, Benny. I found this a very, very difficult betting assignment. You'll see later, I've gone pretty wide in the quaddy here as well. Could be the right race for Lord Bazarin, though. Wasn't disgraced in the Matawa Cup and wasn't beaten far by Saracen Knight before that at Caulfield. So I've been racing pretty well this preparation without winning. I think it's another horse that should roll forward here. Maybe turn this into a genuine staying contest and give its rivals something to catch. Another interesting horse is Chuck a Luck. Doesn't win out of turn, always sort of pops up in these races. You think today's the day, doesn't generally get the job done, but it's generally not too far away at this sort of level. So definitely have some respect there for Chuck a Luck as well. But as I said, going fairly wide in the quaddy here with number two, Chuck a Luck. Number three, Nord Bodzorian. Number seven, Sir Edwin Lancia. Number nine, Humble Pie. Number 12, Tatalina. And number 13, Warrior Woman. Very wide, Tommy. I agree with you, though. I think Lord Boozeron's got the right racing style for that race on Friday night. Takes us through the last with thanks to Sepult Wines and another very open race, so we're coming home wide as well. Uh, Just Jake is a very consistent performer, and I think he's had a good couple of months. And I just think the form around him through horses like Campisi and November Dreaming, they'd come up pretty short in a race like this, probably. Uh, and I just think Just Jake from the barrier, Dylan Dunn knows this horse so well, I think might map well and Friday night could be its night. So Just Jake in a very open race. We're getting an each way price to find out. So I'm happy with that. Um, from a quaddy perspective, Ogatox goes in. I'm always scared of Hobson runners when they make the trip down. Number eight rolls. Number 10, Wild Vitality. There's a big run last start at Big Odds. And at number 11, Bacchus has to be included. But Tommy, wide seems to be the theme of the night on Friday night. So good luck, punters. Plenty of value to be found the, uh, the day before the big derby. Oh, 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 oh,